Hey guys, Moan Pobera here, and this video is all about dream team and mentors. Let's get to it. So yeah, if you're new to this channel, my name is Moan Pober. I've been buying businesses, buying businesses for the last three years full time. I had many, many businesses over the last 10 years, and I'm here to basically share and document my journey, share with you my mistakes, the things that I learned, and basically everything that I know about buying and growing businesses. I think this is the best way for you to grow. Um, it's much better than starting business from scratch. The risks are much smaller, I think, if you know how to buy the right business. And even the capital that you need to put into starting a business versus buying one is many times the same amount of capital or even less because you can use the business assets and leverage the bank to buy those businesses with those business assets. So it's pretty, pretty cool. I think that if you have an existing business, it's also the best way for you to grow uh, just because there's only so much you can do with uh, sales and marketing. That's what the biggest companies out there are doing. I mentioned it in my other videos, but Facebook bought WhatsApp, Amazon bought Whole Foods. That's how they grow. That's what they're doing. Um, that's what the biggest guys out there are doing. People on Shark Tank, Warren Buffett and all those guys. And this is what this channel is all about. So check my other videos if you want to learn more about that. But let's get to today's topic, which is all about mentors and dream team. So dream team, is it even important mentors? Are they even important to have on your, on your team? Uh, why do you even need them? Do you need them? How do you get them? We're going to dive into all of those topics. So in regards to mentors and dream team, I think the biggest thing is just they're going to save you so much time. They're going to open so, much, so many doors for you and they're going to get you to the point where you want to get to much faster versus if you try to do it all on your own. Yes, you can try and do everything on your own, but the mistakes and learning curve is going to be so much harder versus if you're going to try and just go and do those things with someone who already did that and done that. I think it's really, really important to be around those people uh, and just surround yourself with people you want to be like. And most of you are probably saying, hey, why the fuck would someone even get close to me or listen to me if I don't have the experience, I don't have the track record, I don't have the credit, right? You're probably asking yourself, why would someone who did deals in the past or is doing deals right now will even talk to me, which is a fair question. And to be honest, if someone is doing deals day to day right now, there's a very small chance that he'll give you some of his time. Even if you'll give him equity in your deals, there's still not really such a big reason for him to help you for free. Even if it's for a small equity piece, like for 5% equity, I'm thinking if someone will give me 5% equity to be in his board team, board member, uh, or as a partner, it just makes no sense to me. Like, why would I go and I'll need to go and teach you everything that I know, everything that took me years to learn on how to talk to business owners, where to find those deals, how to negotiate with them. Why would I do that for 5% equity before I even know you? I don't know you. I don't know if you're going to execute. I don't know if I'm going to spend my time and waste it for so long before I even know if I can get results where I can just do those things myself with my existing team, my existing partners. There's a very small chances that someone will give you that help for free before they know you. And even if you give them small equity, I mean, it makes no sense, especially like I said, I think there is a big difference between someone who is doing and trying to do deals right now on a day to day basis versus someone who did those things 20, 30 years ago. I think that things are just outdated. Everything is going to be different nowadays. The people you're going to talk to are different right now. I mean, it just, in my opinion, yes, it's good to have someone who did that in the past just to have the right mindset. That's, I think, the best thing you can get from people who did it in the past. But if you actually want to do deals right now, you need to do or at least ideally do your best to be around people who are doing it day to day. And I think with people who did deals in the past, it's really hard to learn the things that you need to learn on how to buy businesses. If I mean, if you don't have much experience, if you don't have much experience, you don't know how to read financials, you never talk to business owners, you never positioned yourself as a potential investor or buyer. It's really hard to learn all of those small nuances unless you're with him day to day, involved with him or in talks with him day to day. You're going to miss so many little different nuances that maybe your mentor forgot, literally forgot, uh, but he don't know that you don't know and you're going to make a lot of mistakes just based on this. So I guess the question is, is that enough? Is that enough to have a mentor who did deals in the past, like 20, 30 years ago, and now I can talk to him one time a month? Is that enough to get results? Um, my answer to that is depends on where you are in life and business. If you have the experience, if you bought businesses in the past, I think it's great to have someone who did more than you, even if it's in the past, just to have the right mindset and attitude. If you never bought a business before, I think it's going to be really, really hard for you. 
um, to, to just try to do it based on past information just because you're missing so much so many nuances in the deal making world and many times you're just missing so many doors that you can't open or gatekeepers that you can't go through because you don't have the experience or track record I think if you're looking for a mentor or dream team, it's very, very good to have someone in your geographic location, same city ideally, but nowadays it's not a must at all. Like 99% of my mentors are people from different countries. I'm mostly based in Tel Aviv in Israel and I don't see any reason not to have mentors in different places just because nowadays you have Skype, you have Zoom calls, you have, I mean, it's so easy to get in touch with people and talk to them on a day-to-day -day basis, no matter where you are. As long as you have internet connections, you're good. And even with doing deals, you can do deals all over the world as long as you have good internet connection. Literally, that's all you need out nowadays. But obviously, if you can meet someone in person, it's going to be better. What I found out myself is even when I have, I have mentors here locally who are part of private equity firms and venture capital firms, but even if they're here locally, the chances of me meeting them face to face is much lower. And even if they literally here in the same city, I'll most likely just talk to them on the phone or have like Skype calls with them with a camera if, if we both want. But uh, like the, the idea that someone is in your geographic location is cool, but it's not as important in my opinion, especially nowadays. I think the biggest thing with uh, talking to mentors or dream team members is that your vibe, your vibe got to be a vibe of someone who's adding value. And even if it means just with your attitude towards life, you want to be that person who is not needy, who is there to take as much information as you can, but don't be that person who just out there uh, trying to look for the right words. But you see what I'm saying? You, you got to always come from the attitude of giving. How can I give? How can I basically add value to the other side? Even in the way that you're asking questions, you want to really come from curiosity and not just trying to get the most out of the other side to, to your own benefit, if that makes sense. You always want to make it win-win for everyone. And it, it come, that vibe comes out with every word you're saying. I think it's really, really important that you're always positive and you're always taking action. So if you're talking with someone who you want to be like, with a mentor or a dream team member, you want to execute on everything that they are telling you. So if they're telling you something, even the smallest, you want to execute like a like a like crazy man on those things. Otherwise, you're going to look like an amateur, like someone who is not serious about things. And then your mentor will not take you seriously if you're not executing on his tips. I mean, those mentors you talk to potentially do those things for many, many years, and they're giving you very specific advice for a reason. And if they see that you don't execute on those, they have no reason to give you more advice because they see that you're not serious. I also think that it's, it's important to have a mentor is, in my opinion, just a few years ahead of you versus someone who is like 20, 30 years of, ahead of you. Because you'll find out that when you talk to people who are 20, 30 years ahead of you, many times you won't even understand their language. And even if you do, I mean, you have so many missing pieces in between so many little nuances that you're missing that like i said that mentor who was 20 30 years of you literally forgot so i think it's better to have someone who's only two three years ahead of you who can talk the same language who is can even remember your your i guess the the, the place that you're at right now and it wasn't that far away from him that's how we can give you the best focused advice for you versus someone who's so many many years ahead of you and the ideas and tips that he will give you many times you won't understand them i think it's really important that you build relationship with the mentor where you are not afraid to get in touch with him or send him messages otherwise that can cost you a lot of money like if you're in the middle of doing a deal and you can't access your mentor you can lose a lot of money just by the fact that you have a, a question that you don't you're not able to get answers on that can cost you a small fortune literally if you're doing very very small mistakes in this space of buying businesses remember every mistake here can cost you literally hundreds of thousands of dollars because we're looking at multi-million dollar businesses so you want to make sure that you have access to someone and you're not embarrassed to get in touch with him and for that reason most of my mentors are mentors that i paid a lot of money to be around and to have access to i think it's i mean did it cost me a lot of money yes do i regret it fuck no i think that's the the, I think the best investments in my life are investments in mentors and masterminds and things where I can be around the person I want to be like, even if it means just for a day or two. Or ideally, obviously, I want to be around that person or have access to the person on a day-to-day -day basis. 
the more access you have to him, the better. Like, yeah, you can go and learn from a person during a weekend or so, and you can get a lot. But after you're done with that weekend, you're going to have so many more questions if you're actually executing and you want to have someone you can message on a day to day basis who will literally tell you, hey, this is right. This is wrong. Continue to do what you're doing or no, stop doing what you're doing because you're going to waste years doing that. Change your your path a little bit left and then you're going to change your your path to the positive. And I think having access to that person, you can tell you what you're doing is right or wrong is crucial. And I think paying someone at least initially, is, is so good because it's literally just a way to open the relationship for you. You can start the relationship by paying a mentor and then over time you'll see, I mean, you'll build a relationship, you'll get to know each other and you'll find ways to work together and find win-win scenarios that obviously won't require you to pay any more for that mentorship. And I'm, I'm not afraid to say that. That's why I'm charging for my time right now. I mean, just I do like two, three calls a week for, for with people who paid me. And the reason I do that is because if I had to talk to one on one with everyone who messaged me, I had no time to do deals on my own. So you paying me for 30 minutes call, show me that you're serious and you're actually committed to do things. And it's a way for us to start and build relationship in just doing deals in general or just any, any business opportunity that comes up or any life opportunity that can come up from your end or my end. So that's why personally I'm willing and we'll do whatever it takes to pay someone I want to be like or even get close to or get to a point where he can open doors for me. I think paying him first, show him that I respect his time. And no matter what, this is a way for me to start a relationship in a positive way, in a way that basically shows you, hey, look, I care, I respect your time and let me show you in the call how can I add value to you to my potential mentor's time and then find a figure out way where it can become a win-win scenario for everyone. So yeah, to summarize this dream team and mentors and all that, I think it's crucial. Yes, you can try and do everything on your own, but it's going to take you years of learning curve and, and just trying to go through so many difficulties and, and challenges and mistakes that just wouldn't happen to you otherwise if you had the right mentor. I think it's crucial to have the right one if it's a paid one or a free one. I, I actually at a point where I'm happy to pay someone just because I then feel comfortable messaging him. Like someone who is my mentor for free, I won't feel comfortable messaging him because I don't want to waste his time. Um, even if you're giving him 5% equity in your dream team, many times that's not enough because the mentor need to teach you so much and it just makes no sense for someone who is day to day buying businesses to just take a random guy you don't know and teach him everything he knows before the other side shows some kind of a commitment or pay price to action as, as they say. Um, those are my thoughts. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what do you think. Do you think that it's important to have the right dream team and the right mentor in your team? Um, if not, let me know why. Help me with the engagement. Like the video, comment, subscribe if you didn't yet. And see the links in the description below. Join our free business by mastermind if you didn't yet. Fill the survey below with your details. Let me know uh, of ideas you have for me for videos because I need ideas if I'm going to post daily. Let me know if you like the fact of me doing book reviews with insights from, or basically insights you can take and implement in the business buying world. So definitely know if that's something you want to do. And also, if you want to do one-on-one -on -one calls with me, I'm doing two or three calls like this a week to help you guys and just put myself out there a little bit more. So see the details below on how to talk to me as well. Um, that's it. And yeah, with the one-on-one -on -one calls, you'll then have the option to potentially join my team and partner with us on deals, a team that did more than 300 deals total. Uh, we have the access to all the financial institutions, obviously accountants, lawyers, all you need in order to close deals. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, the video and I'll, I'll see you soon.